Justin Bruce, thank you so much. All right, time now to go out to the movies here in Las Vegas Weekly. Film editor Josh Bell is here. We got three movies on Slate here. Big the week. The first, uh, this Fifty Shades uh, sequel here. It's called Fifty Shades Darker. Yes, it is. And is it any better? It is not any better. <laughs> okay. I would say it's perhaps worse. I know yeah. I'm disappointing Dana. Yeah, Dana uh, Roselli is actually front. the only person I know who saw the movie says she liked it. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, and I will say I didn't really like the first one. So okay. for people who did, maybe they'll be more forgiving of this one. Yes. But I think um, this movie is really, I mean, it's about this kinky kind of sexual relationship between uh, Christian Grey, the brooding billionaire, and the uh, young uh, college student played by uh, Dakota Johnson. And the first movie is about the tension between her kind of inexperience and what he wants and the intensity of their relationship. And they break up at the end of that movie because they can't be together. And then this movie kind of diffuses all of that tension immediately. They get right back together and they're happy and things are great. And there's just no story to this film. It's one of the most boring movies about kinky sex <laughs> that you can imagine. Um, there's a couple threats that kind of come from outside, but uh -huh. the, the plot points are introduced and resolved really quickly. It just okay. moves slowly in no direction, and the okay. sex scenes are pretty tame, honestly. I love that. A boring movie about <laughs> kinky sex. I'd I never mean, heard that criticism before, so that's, that's the kind of insight you get from Josh Bell here. If there's one thing the movie should not be, it's yeah, boring. I agree. All right, moving on now. Uh, <laughs> the Lego Batman movie. This looks pretty funny. It is, is it? funny, it yes. Is. Nice. Uh, okay. I think uh, people who enjoyed the Lego movie from uh, a few years ago, which was a really pleasant surprise, also very funny, clever, well animated, lots of crazy characters, including this Batman uh, character, the version that's kind of vain and arrogant, voiced yes. by Will Arnett. And so now he's got his own whole movie. And I think anyone who saw the Lego movie and was entertained by that and thought it was funny, I think it you'll really enjoy this movie as well. Uh, it's a very similar sense of humor. Um, it's obviously just focused on Batman, but they do bring in some other kind of pop culture figures from outside the world of Batman, so they keep that Lego mashup mentality going. Um, and there's so much going on in this movie, just visually, and in terms of the jokes that are just constantly coming at you, and references to all sorts of Batman history, going back to the 60s TV series nice. and all the movies. Okay. And it's got, it's got, you know, little lessons for the family because it's definitely a family movie. Right. But I think adults will certainly enjoy this and find a lot uh, to kind of uh, grab onto in terms of the references that, that kids aren't necessarily it. getting. Yeah. So fun for the whole family. Okay, so we got one miss, one hit. Now here's a tiebreaker, John Wick 2. This yes. is Keanu Reeves. Yes. I know nothing about this movie. It looks sort of dark and brooding. What, what it's all about? Uh, Keanu Reeves is going to kill a bunch of uh, yeah. kill a bunch of guys, yeah. basically. Hey, he's, uh, made a, he's made a big career out of it. Yeah, uh, the first John Wick was kind of a surprise hit. It was a revenge thriller. Uh, John Wick, this uh, former assassin, he gets revenge on the guys who killed his... So his little dog, his oh. poor little dog. So uh, it wow. had kind of a, it had a very simple, direct focus. Uh, and this movie expands on the kind of mythology Bloody of the series, which is maybe not this. entirely necessary. Uh, it's not as focused or quite as strong as the first movie, yeah. but it's still got a lot of really good action. Okay. Uh, Keanu Reeves is, is good at this kind of character. And I think like the Lego movie, if you liked what they did in the first movie, you yeah. will like this movie. It's kind of more of what uh, the first movie did okay. well. Okay, that must have been some dog. <laughs> All right, Josh Bell, thank you as always for your time.